G'day reefers, I'm Kevin the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today's fish focus is on Celarius fasciatus, otherwise known as the lawnmower blenny. And whilst this little fish might look like another section of the sand in this aquarium, he is a really cool addition to your reef tank and I'm gonna tell you all about him. The lawnmower blenny in this tank is uh, just hiding under a rock at the back and they are really good at camouflaging. They are uh, generally a sort of mottled colour, um, typical sandy colour, so white and sort of a little bit of grey. And when you talk about them like that, it, it does make them sound like a little bit of a boring fish. However, they are a personality fish and they are a really cool addition to your tank. Now they get around about uh, 10 to 12 centimeters, so we're talking about four or five uh, inches. So they're great in the vast majority of reef tanks, but let's talk about their diet first uh, of the lawnmower blenny. So we can just see this little guy in the corner here. Now we have lawnmower blennies in most of the tanks here at Gallery Aquatica Salisbury. And the reason why we have them uh, in uh, each of the tanks is because they are incredibly popular. They're a really hardy fish that has got a lot of personality and um, people do typically love blennies and like to have at least one in their tank. Now the diet of the lawnmower blenny, as its name would suggest, they do eat algae. However, a lot of the time I find people buying lawnmower blennies to solve their algae problems. Um, the, the problem is that lawnmower blennies only eat a certain a few types of, uh, of algae, typically green filamentous algae. So they're not gonna help with uh, other things that we call algae like uh, dinoflagellates and cyanobacteria and um, a lot of those sort of uh, algae. Um, and so I don't use uh, the lawnmower blenny as a uh, uh, cleanup crew of any sort. I put them in aquariums because they are awesome little fish. And if they happen to clean up a little bit of green algae on the side, then that's that's okay. So you do need to ensure that they're getting a diet which is adequate for them. Um, they'll eat almost anything, frozen and prepared foods. Uh, I mean, brine, shrimp and mice, the other mixed up frozen foods that we sell. Um, but I do try and ensure that they are getting some vegetable matter in their diet. And that can be in the form of uh, vegetable based flakes and frozen foods. So I'm just watching this little uh, Lord Noel blending behind the rock and he's, uh, he's, <laughs> he's pretty cool. He's just swamped towards us, but he's hiding behind the rock. But in terms of compatibility, the lawnmower blenny is suitable in the vast majority of reef aquariums. And in fact, probably the only problem uh, that you may have putting a lawnmower blenny in your tank is if you already have other blennies. You will find that the blennies can be a little bit territorial, especially in smaller tanks. And if it's a tank which is 100 litres, uh, 25 gallons or less, I would suggest just a single lawnmower blenny. But otherwise, uh, they're, they're fine in the vast majority of tanks. You can have them with almost every other fish that isn't going to eat them. Um, they won't touch corals. Uh, I've never seen lawnmower blennies go for corals. They will sit or perch, as you can see this guy here is perching on the rock. Um, and that might cause some corals to, to close up uh, intermittently, but it really it's not too much of a problem. You can keep the lawnmower blennies in large tanks too. Generally, because they're quick and they dart in and out of the rock work, um, fish that might be aggressive towards other fish um, won't normally even think twice about the lawnmower blenny. And I guess their camouflage also helps with that as well. So with our difficulty rating, we rate fish based on how hard they are to keep in your aquarium from one to 10. One being the easiest to keep, 10 being the hardest to keep. And the lawnmower blenny is a three. The reason why they're uh, three is because uh, there are the occasional uh, lawnmower blennies that don't take too well to the um, environment in your reef tank. Some of them will be a little bit hard to get feeding. So always check that the, the lawnmower blenny you're buying is eating before you take it home. The other problem that some people have with them is that they are a little bit inclined to jump out of tanks. So I would definitely suggest having some sort of uh, lid or cover on your aquarium with the lawnmower blennies. But other than that, they are a particularly easy fish to keep. They're a great beginner fish and something I would typically recommend for people to keep in their first reef aquarium. 
So the lawnmower blending certainly is a real character of a fish. And uh, I, I think that they look like a, a little bit of a muppet. They've got these big bulgy eyes and they've got big eyelashes that sort of sit above them and a, that funny looking mouth, which they use to rasp algae off the rocks. And uh, whilst they're not a strikingly beautiful, colorful fish, uh, they definitely are a character and a fish that I like to put in almost every reef tank that I set up. But that's it for today's fish feature on the Lawnmower Blenny. Hopefully you've learned a little something about this cool little fish. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. That's it for this week's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Don't forget to like and comment on all our videos and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to Gallery Aquatica TV for more exciting episodes to come. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing.